Hi everyone, uh, this is size 14 and jig hook and the bead is, is a gunmetal 3mm and uh, the first thread I'm going to be using is glow bright uh, hot orange which is uh, number 5 and a very simple pattern to tie and I'll explain all the material as I go along so if you just start below the eye just to build up a little this is a deep water nymph and brilliant for winter fishing in the river so I'm gonna go back up again so we can give a nice thick tapered shape uh, to the body keep doing that unwind your thread once more and then I think that should be enough. Okay, now what you have to do is just go towards the bend. Now this is, I'm going to go around the bend a little because we need this tail to tuck in because this jig hooks, you know, basically sits upside down in the river. So tail, again I'm using this as a paintbrush, it's a grayish color. You can use any other color. I just took about four strand, so just about body length. Take your time. Now I'm gonna. That's fine. That's okay. And the body I'm using, this is a purplish holographic tinsel, kind of medium size. So you don't have the name, I've heard this for a long time, but you can buy that from any tackle shop. And if you can cut the just an angle, you know, on the edge, as you can see, and just catch it same time. Actually, no, my fault, I'm going to make a little tag in here and then catch this tinsel making sure it's sitting properly and then use your touch and turn gently keep going leave this tail material until you reach to the bead that's fine Okay, and now I'm just going to wait and work with the body. I'm going to finish off with this thread. The next thread is red eight o. So now what you have to do is bring this material. Now remember to use each lap on top of the previous lap, you know, and that way you will create a little ribbing with effect not necessary but it makes looks a bit nice this is a great color for grayling fishing purple is the one of the another one of the good color as well as pink try to push this in and just to catch a couple of turn and then take this off and I'm gonna whip finish here 
very simple. It's a deep pocket fishing, a deep water, and uh, also great for the this time of year, especially when the rivers are high and floody. And as you can see, this looks okay. Now because they swim upside down like this, so what I'll do is I'm going to put a little hot spot on the head. It's a red color, just about here, but be careful when you're doing the Stretch a little bit on the okay, just put it like this. Now, what you have to do, just leave it to dry. So, I think this one is dried now. So, all I'll, now I'm going to add some UV varnish. Take your time. This is all going to be a head. So, because they swim upside down due to um, because of the jig, so these jigs hooks are normally sits upside down in the water. So once you dry this, take your time on this varnish. Just gonna fill up this little empty space. And just work with the head, you know, just need a little bit. Once it's cured, that's done. And I do another thing. Just add a little bar on the tail. It looks nice. So there you have it, Deep Purple Perdigon River Nymph. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.